Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry here. Okay, so we are learning about Fernando Lort. And one of the things that I really like about this artist is that he created a whole town of artists. And he changed their lives from being farmers to being artists, which I think is really cool. One of the things that he is famous for is his pictures of doves and birds. So here's a black and white sample of his his dove of peace. And he's got images of the farmers that he encountered, right? And um, their crops and their houses with the clay tile roofs. And um, that's, that's a really complicated project that we're not going to do at, at this point, but we will do at some point. But I want to teach you how to draw a simple dove. On the PowerPoint, you will see the step-by-step, -step, and we'll do it together right now. We're going to make it with simple shapes, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to draw with a pencil. I would suggest you draw with a pencil, too, because a lot of these lines we're going to erase when we're finished. All right, so the first shape we're going to start with is a circle. So the circle is going to be the body of the dove. The circle does not have to be perfect. You see, I've already made um, a line that I didn't want to keep, so I'm going to erase that. So we have the circle. And on the back of that circle, we're going to add a rectangle. All right. Everybody got that so far? And on the front of it, we're going to add a triangle. So we have the basic shape of the bird so far. So start with a circle, add a rectangle, and then add a triangle. Inside the triangle, we're going to add another circle for the eye. And near the eye line, inside of the big circle, we're going to add a line that comes down. This is going to be where we add the wing. Now here's where we finesse the lines to create the bird. You can already see where it's starting to look bird-like. So we're going to take this part of the circle, that's going to be the top of his wing, and it's going to come down and meet that line. So let's go ahead and erase some of these lines here. So now you can kind of see the wing. <clears throat> we're going to round off some of these corners and erase, right? We're going to add another circle in here for the eye. Add a line here for the beak, maybe stretch that out a little bit. So is yours looking like a bird? Now remember, because it's a video, you can stop, freeze the video if you want to catch up. I'm going to flatten out his belly a little bit so it's not quite so round. And this dove is going to be perched, so sitting. So I'm going to give him feet that are going to be wrapped around a branch. And for that, I like to draw with two backward C's. And then I'm going to add the branch right between those knuckle-like feet. Can you see that? He's kind of perched. Now I'm going to add some details that are like Fernando Lortz. So let's see. Let's start by adding some curved lines here at the neck. And again, we're going to erase some of these other lines that we, we won't be using. And he had this particular pattern that he used on the wing of the bird. I'm going to copy that. You know, we're learning to draw in the style of Fernando Lort. Some straight lines. Right? I have a half circle here. A wavy line here. A little 
bit of a wavy line there. Another straight line. Some more stripes. Got this wave-like line there. And now, you draw first with a pencil, trace with a Sharpie. So now we can start tracing it. So I'm going to trace the lines that I want to keep. This helps me to see a little bit better the lines that I want to keep and the ones that I want to erase. Now you can draw any designs you want on your bird. You don't have to copy mine. And around that tail off a little bit. There we go. And now we can go back with our eraser and erase all those pencil lines we no longer need. And we are ready to add color. That was pretty easy, right? Circle, a rectangle, and a triangle, and we created a bird. Very good, guys. I can't wait to see how yours turn out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.